what is up guys welcome to a tutorial slash overview video for DeepBot. Uh, DeepBot is as you see here a uh, twitch streamer assistant um, basically some of the features of it in a quick uh, layout would be you can do uh, stream interactions uh, you can play music, you've got special commands, chat moderation, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and we're just going to do a quick overview. This might not be too quick, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, first, first page here is where you connect your bot to your bot account. My bot's name is Rooksbot and the stream name, obviously my name Rookser. Uh, my points name is Bacon Strips, and then you've got to have the authorization password this password here is for the bot um, and then obviously connect to twitch using the port and then of course my streamer login here to where if you type into chat using the uh, deep bot feature then you're going to be able to chat here and it'll chat as you and not the bot also you can update your stream title here I've been doing a giveaway and I've been playing some Rocket League so it's what you're going to see there uh, here you're going to be able to edit how many points per how many minutes and you can also do it offline if you leave your bot on all the time uh, viewers can get points by just hanging around in your chat while it's offline or while you're hosting other channels you can also change for the cla uh, user class point multipliers here like say VIP bronze VIP silver they can get different amounts I only get one because I'm no better than any of my viewers. Uh, also, you've got your timer here to let you know how long your stream's been up. Here's your stream status. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this part here. In order to change any of the grayed out areas, you actually have to disconnect. And then it'll let you know that the bot is offline and you're able to edit any of these items here. Um, so I'm going to connect it just in case anybody's in there. I'm going to give them some bacon strips. And I should actually change that to 20 minutes would be nice. Anyway, uh, let's go on to the next tab here, which is chat. Uh, you can go ahead and just quickly add points or whatever your loyalty system is. You can add them here. You can add a custom amount here. It'll add them to all online viewers, all current viewers watching your channel. And then you've got your VIP mode and everything here. Um, pretty self-explanatory you've got a settings cog here you can reload disable pop out and whatnot so there is that next tab is your user database this is going to show you all of your users all of your viewers points um, you can search through them you can hide the offline which is what I usually do if I didn't we would have tons of them <laughs> I've got quite a few, seven pages worth, to be honest. So I'm just going to hide all the offline. And you can filter them through VPs too. So total users, 3,465. <laughs> so that's pretty much that one. Very, again, self explanatory. Your raffles. Honestly, I haven't used the raffles yet, but it wouldn't be hard to figure out. Uh, all you have to do is you start a raffle and you know you put your item in there Rooksbot will say hey a ticket raffles open you can read all that here you can pause the video on and read all that or read it while I'm talking about this stuff you can have the raffle close at a specific time or you know in a specific amount of time you can make it available to certain people only um, and then once that once it's ended you can have it either just close it uh, close the keyword close the auction or do nothing so yeah that's pretty much that and we're going to reset that just in case you can do keyword raffles and then auctions so a lot of a lot of different features there now your channel commands this is obviously where you can create regular commands for people to put in you know like stats time game you know what game you're playing everything like that and it'll actually you, it'll actually tell you if somebody asks what game are you playing you can type in exclamation mark game and it'll say, you know, his current game is whatever game it is. A lot of different commands here uh, that you can add. It's unlimited so far as I know. You can make a cooldown so they can't spam it too much. 
Uh, here's where you add it. This page opens up on a different thing. And it opens up here, and there's actually something really neat. And I can move it over here too. If you need any kind of terminology or anything for adding new commands, a little window pops up here that shows you all the, I guess, shorthand or programming language or whatever you want to call all this stuff here metadata. <laughs> um, random user, user, blah, 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 blah. And you just add a command here. All commands start with an exclamation mark. You add your command. You can put a group here. Here's where you add your message. And you can change who's able to use it, what it costs to use that command. Um, just tons of stuff you can do here. If any of y'all have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I will answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, your timed messages, you can have them run every so, so many minutes, so many seconds, so many hours, or so many chat lines. Um, and it's just like adding a regular command, or not just a regular command, but it's just adding a command. Command, message, enable or disable. Um, event messages, <coughs> say a viewer comes in, you, wanna, you want your bot to say hi. You can have your bot say hi whenever they leave. You can say, oh, they're gone. They're plebs. <laughs> Whatever you want it to say. Uh, raffle alarms, you can have it um, play sounds whenever the raffle's over. Um, and then play a certain link or play a certain message to say, hey, you know, it's, it's off. Streamer messages. Um, this one you can auto host stream uh, yeah auto host streams I used to do this uh, a lot but it kinda got on the streamers nerves because whenever you host a stream they like to say thank you because it's kind of a good thing for you to host other streamers so when I was doing this they would say thanks but I wasn't in their chat to say you're welcome or anything like that so it kinda got on people's nerves so you might want to be careful doing this uh, I probably should have put it after 60 minutes put it at like eight hours or something but that's neither here nor there so your music with your music you can have it to where your users are able to request songs you can make it to where they are not able to request songs the chat is or the command is backwards from what nightbot does some of you are familiar with nightbot um, instead of it being exclamation mark song request it's exclamation mark request song uh, to circumvent that you can go to channel commands and add a, add a command that says SR which you just put you just make the bot say request song target which is the website or the the link that they put in uh, so back to the music here uh, my recent playlist is this it's gonna play so there's that uh, and it'll just auto populate if the streamer yourself requests a song it goes to the bottom of the list if a user or viewer requests a song it's the next to be played so that's just a little something there if you're wondering where your songs are you can charge points per song request which is really nice because then you know people can't just come in and be like hey they've got song requests on I'm gonna request a 10 hour song or I'm gonna re request a very offensive song they can't do that because they don't have enough points so there is that and I love that feature that is a fantastic feature you can also create a blacklist for songs that you don't want played so stream interaction this is where you can have bets, mini games like bank heists and whatnot, take polls on things you want your viewers to make decisions on, uh, viewer cues, quotes, and, and the rest is under under development as you can see. So here with the with the betting you can say you're betting on say I'm playing a competitive game, say Rocket League. You're betting if I win or not. And you can say if I win you know then you win the bet you get so many um, so many points in return blah 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 same with regular betting uh, so many games you can do bank heist a guessing game which is new I haven't seen that so that's new to me good job devs adding stuff and I don't even know it 
the developers for Dbot are fantastic people. They will help you all the time. Um, they can do they answer any questions you have. Um, and so moving on, drag race. Uh, you can have drag race, and this is all random stuff here, whether or not you win or lose. Um, and you can create or change the settings and whatnot. Uh, here, I know this is a lot to look at, but um, it's basically everything. Say you know, entry message: so and so has started a bank or is planning a bank heist. Um, blah blah blah. All this stuff here uh, for the different levels, because you've got different banks that you can you can do. I changed all the names here to be somewhat affiliated with bacon because who doesn't like bacon and then the success if it's a hundred percent it plays this message this percent range plays this one so forth and so on so it's pretty good pretty uh, pretty customizable and then your arenas you've got knockout arena and tournament arena which are a lot of fun for the viewers, all these games are very fun for the viewers. Um, just in case you're really into the game, they want something to do. You can either start it yourself, or you can have them start the bank heists or knockout arenas or whatever, and they can entertain themselves as well as watching you play your video games. Uh, stream poll. Uh, this is where you know you can say what game do you want me to play next. You can put your options here and then put a message here and just run the poll they'll you can set it as a, at a timer and everything max votes per viewer um, and then have your viewers make decisions for you because I don't like making my own decisions viewer cues this is a new one for me so I don't know that much about it I'll make a video on it once I learn more apologies Quotes. Not 100% sure what that is either, but it's there. I will have another video. Uh, I will have other videos uh, coming soon to go into detail about how to do specific things uh, in your stream um, bot. The newest feature that I like, well, not the newest feature, but one of the best features that I like is the moderation because it reduces the amount of bots that I need because I used to use Nightbot, I used to use other bots to moderate my chat timing people out for putting links, timing people out for spamming stuff because I don't like that stuff caps, I don't like people yelling at me through text so stream moderation, it's great but it can be a headache at times if you don't do the settings right so what we do here, uh, you can make it to where user, certain user levels are immune um, you can say the permit duration one minute. I'm gonna change mine to three. Uh, you can whitelist certain websites where they don't get timed out for those. I put YouTube because YouTube is where the song requests come from. If they request a song, they put the entire URL in there, then it's gonna time them out, but the song still gets entered sometimes, so it's kind of wonky there. But if you set it up right, it will work perfectly. So your moderation action, I've got mine at purge, so nobody gets timed out and is like, well, what the hell? So I don't ban people right off, I don't time out people. That's what my mods are for. That's what your mods could be for. And then, of course, you can put a special message. Uh, banned words, I don't really have any banned words. I do, but my mods take care of that for me. Spam. Yeah. Um, you can have immune viewers. Um, you set your um, details here, you know, max symbols, 10. I should probably change that to 20 because a lot of people like putting a bunch of exclamation marks. Some of my loyal viewers, I give them some leeway. Uh, message length, 300 characters. Nobody wants to read a novel in their chat. Uh, emotes, I'll let them put 10 emotes, that's fine. Cap spam, number of words, and it's words, not letters. I'm going to change that to 20 and if I'm not mistaken I'm not a hundred percent sure on this but if I'm not mistaken it goes um, across multiple chat lines like if they put five words press enter five more words press enter that counts as ten 
I'm not 100% sure. Please correct me in the comment section below if I am wrong. Notifications. I don't really mess with this one too much. Uh, this is basically just letting you know the details of what's going on. It's not a stream interaction. It's just something for your, I guess, reporting or something that you could use. But like I said, I don't really use that all too much. Streamer chat. This is where you can ask people how it's going or, you know, say hi to other streamers using this. Help them out with questions. Like you can see some of the people here are asking questions. Some of them are streaming. Uh, some of them are DeepBot support. And then, of course, you can reply to them specifically by saying, hey, click on that, reply to it. And they put a lot of stuff in here to help people out. There are a lot of links in here um, to the forum sites to help you get things set up. There are some other videos that help with the initial setup. I'm probably not going to do an initial setup video because the other one is still valid. Most of the details in that are still good, so I'm not really going to do too much with that. Uh, the forums, this just attaches the the site forums to the bot so that you can find the answers to your questions without you know going here and waiting for somebody to reply to you uh, and then about this is where you go for your updates your update notes um, to see what's changed what's been updated and dbot automatically tells you whenever there is an update it'll say right here update available so that you can click on it, it'll download the update, apply it, restart DeepBot, and you're good to go. So, that does it for this overview of DeepBot. Uh, my personal opinion, DeepBot is a fantastic um, stream moderation slash minigame slash stream bot. Overall bot, it does pretty much everything that you want a bot to do so that you don't have two, three, four, five bots in your chat. I used to have four bots, one for fun stuff, one for moderation, one for points, and one for shits and giggles. But this one does everything, and I highly recommend getting it. It is a closed beta, so you do have to um, apply for the bot. There are different levels. You can donate every month or subscribe. Uh, to have VIP level bot uh, settings which is a fantastic resource because then you're able to take donations and other very cool um, features so that does it for this and if you have any questions please feel free to let me know or ask me in the comment section below or visit me at twitch.tv forward slash rookser uh, also follow me on vine instagram um, Twitter. Uh, also answer questions on Twitter as well, just wherever. Um, so yeah, there is all that. Uh, if you have any other questions about Dbot, feel free to look up other Dbot videos. There are plenty out there. I'm just you know throwing my mix in there, and um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And as usual, guys, I will see you guys online. Peace. Yes, it was. <laughs>